Sanders here and Thomas Peterson. How are you guys doing this evening? Very, very great. How's your weekend? How's your week? How uh, week is good. How was your Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, I think I gained. Uh, I think I gained a few more pounds. Well, of course, I had a great. It was like it was basically a great family reunion. It was a good family reunion. Uh, like always, we probably have maybe over 80 family members. It's good luck. Yeah, I don't. Yes, I don't, I don't know like what I would do with that much family anymore. Eat. Because more people, more food. You know what I mean? You've got all kinds of variety of stuff. Yeah, different yeah. people bring different things. If, people, if it was a pitch-in. You know, and it was. Okay. It was all a pitch-in. Uh, uh, it's good to see a lot of family members. And my daughter got married. That's a, on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, that was kind of that, that was a spur of the moment. That was. I mean, I'm, I'm t and they probably had it planned. They did have a plan. But you, they just popped the question on you like, "Hey, we're getting yeah, married tomorrow." Day before. Thanksgiving week after this, so shout out to them, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Phillips. Yeah, yeah, congratulations to yeah. them. Uh, yeah, so I got a new uh, son-in-law, and uh, yeah. yeah. You've already, been, you, you met, you met him, right? No, never met him. No, you didn't. You, yeah, you, I met him. No, I know, but you met him, I was going to say you had met him before. Though, oh, right? yeah, yeah, great guy, but got a good background. Good, my girl, uh, and uh, both are men. That's all that matters. As long as it's good to her, yeah, it's, it's all that matters. That's, that's what it's all boiled down yeah. to at the end of the day. So, but uh, today's special guest is Paul Hunt from PA, Pennsylvania. Paul. Oh, Paul Hunt. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Paul Metz. <laughs> Paul Hunt. That's yeah. a guy from Canada. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it is. It's he's cool. Another, we all, hey, we all know. We he's all a, know he's another legend. Huh? He's yeah, another he, legend. No, he is. Yeah, he's a, he's a go-getter, uh, especially in Del Hollow. And uh, I think he broke, he actually broke some a couple records. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's car. Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. We really don't really get into a whole lot of questions like for us. So like, no. No, I'm, and I'm gonna talk about our, our teammate uh, Paul. You know, because um, I think since he became a part of the team, he has really uh, he's really showed out. He has, and he's helped the team out in a lot of different ways. It's, you he know, has. just from communication and yeah. you know, yeah. putting things together and and running everything. Uh, you know, in PA too with the team over there. Uh, you know, what do you really got to say about that? Like, what's you know, what 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 kind of sparked you? You know, your interest in him as? I think he's an asshole. Huh? Well, <laughs> no, he's a good guy actually. He's a really really good guy. Uh, uh, Paul Mutz. Mutz. Paul Mutz. Mutz. Come Mutz. on, James. Yeah. Come on now. Paul Mutz. He's a really really good guy. I first time I actually met him was at last you. year's Carp Chili, and you see that. The twinkle in his eye. The passion. The passion. Yeah. And that's what got me. You know, it's like, damn, this guy, I can see this guy on fire. He asked him, and you know what he said to me? He's a man. I said, well, I would love to be on the team. He says, you see that? He said, that's why exact, that's the exact words he said to me. He goes, you see that? You see that logo on your chest? You know, yeah. I says, that is like number one to me in the United States is Team Fish Fighters. Yeah, and he was so excited about me, you know, meeting us. And he ain't did nothing but show up and show out. Show, and he also, like I said, he's helped out tremendously. Tremendously. Like we've all got, you know, like we've been using yeah. his uh, person that he uses, you know, to do our shirts and everything, and all, you know, yeah. for the whole team. I just he's not actually, just one us. So he was with us for no, I feel like no longer in almost seven, eight months, and we came up with an idea. I say, you know, uh, Troy. Because mm -hmm. yeah, he's right. You know, Troy was in Pennsylvania. And the problem with Troy, we had our team here. And Troy was over there by his lonesome. Yeah, here in Indiana. But Troy, Troy needed a buddy. He's lonely. 
Yeah. You need a fisherman. He need, he need, he Troy needed, needed a friend. He can't keep <laughs> on coming from Pennsylvania to Indianapolis on the video show. You know, By himself. By too. himself. Yeah. Now, there's a couple times he did make it. No, he definitely did. Great. I mean, he had to. He had to come down yeah. and get that. He had to come down and get that four foot trophy. He did. He did. And he conquered. <clears throat> But he okay. can't. But you know, I can honestly say, like he came though. Yeah, and you know what I mean? so we thought, okay, now you got Paul, Paul Metz, and then you got Troy, and you know, you need a couple more uh, teammates. And I want to keep the cl the club up there small. Mm -hmm. They're still part of Team Fish Fighters. They are Team Fish Fighters. Yep, 100%. but they're actually called the you know the Sinister Six. Sinister Six, just a branch, just Team just, Fish Fighters, small like branch. All yeah, like we're sort of like the Dirty Dozen. Well, it's Dirty Eight. Whatever. Yeah. We're looking for more teammates, but you know, but they actually got uh, six. They got six yeah, teammates. Yeah, they got six yeah, teammates. They got, they got, teammates. They got teammates. three wild water guys, and three Bay three Bay Lakers. But I'm pretty for sure, like they all pretty much kind of do. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Just like some, you know, most of us on the team. Like I'll go, I'm gonna fish anywhere as long yeah. as there, if there's carp in there. And uh, <clears throat> and I feel like to me, also too, there's a lot. Of, Pay Lakers are more getting more excited to be more on the wild side in a way because there's uh, so every every big that's tournament a big adventure. I've, every big tournament I've fished from New York to even Connecticut you know oh yeah like, Pay Lakers you, yeah. the Pay hey, the Pay Lakers do damage yeah you know they what I'm do they, they they got that uh, passion they see that hey. Well, it's it's more about I'm not gonna, the, it's a it's, it's a, a money thing. It's a different. Well, it is about the it's money, but it's a different adrenaline though. Yeah, I can see that when, compared to being the in the Pay Lake world yeah. and fishing the Pay Lake tournaments, like you have an eight hour span most of the times, you know what I'm saying? Maybe nine if you're lucky, tournament. Right. But, you know, compared to a hundred and something hours, that's a different adrenaline, a different strategy, yeah. you know. And that's what, you know, and Paul's, you know, he's good at, he's good at that too because he fishes both. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's very good very to be passionate. able to have somebody mm -hmm. on the team like that that's very knowledgeable and, that's what we want. and in two different worlds. That's what we want. We need the passion of people. Yeah, but you know we and uh, we shouldn't have to find. They should find us. I know. I tell you, there's people out here that still have the passion. You know what I'm saying? But back look, in the, they, nowadays, it seems like a lot of people got the passion, but they don't really have the time. Yeah, that's it. But that's everybody. Though. They don't want to put the time into it. Well, they do. They, you know, some people just don't have the time because of the work or how their life is or whatever the situation may be. You know what I mean? That's you well, know that's what's hard. What that's what's hard for us with the, the team. Week, week. It's hard to get all the team together because everybody's doing different stuff and everybody's yeah. schedules are different and different weekends off and you know what I mean. So it's hard to get to. It is. <clears throat> uh, you want to do, you want to do uh, get the Paul thing going on? Yep. Let's do it. Let's call him up. We're calling. We're coming for you, Paul. We're coming for you. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Hello. May I talk to Paul, please? Hello. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. What's up? What's up? Hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? Brother. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. You got some uh, weather up there, don't you? Yeah, man. We uh, got about an inch of snow on the mountain. It's kind of melting a little bit with the sun. Now, when, but yeah, it's like 11 degrees here. When you say you're in the mountain, are you like actually in the mountains area? Yeah, we're in the, I'm in the mountains of Pennsylvania, like one of the highest points. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you got some real pretty country there. 20 degrees different from my house to Jeremy Metz's house. Okay, sweet, sweet. That's yeah, our other teammate, Jeremy Metz. Um, uh, so he's kind of bragging about you a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, I'm watching with my daughter's phone. Yeah. Appreciate the 100, man. You guys don't have to say things like that, but yeah, we, I love it. Yeah, uh, somebody paid us to say all those nice things to you. So. Yeah, it was really, yeah. it was really, uh, <laughs> I, uh, it was the other teammates, man. They paid yeah, us to talk good yeah. about you. Here, here, here's a dollar. Say something nice. Oh, okay. A dollar. Nah, man. Every, you know, everything I say yeah. is really the truth. Oh, yeah. Have like, first. 
you've uh, you came in on the team and you've had a fire lit on you since you've been on the team and you ain't did nothing but help out. Um, and you know, you know, you you still work and you've got a family to take care of and you know what I mean. You still make time. That's you know, that's the type of yeah teammates that we would like to have on the team. You know yeah. what I mean, especially somebody like yourself because you're versatile, you're knowledgeable. You know. Uh, right. <clears throat> plus, we have the same sponsor um, as far as uh, <laughs> uh You know, some of the best in the business. But yeah, man, just ever, just ever since you've been on the team, like that's, I don't know, man, it's, it's just really hard to explain. You know, you can tell when somebody has the passion mm. about being on a team instead of just being on the team to be a part of something. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely my, the other half of my life. I know that. Yeah. Uh, so, from uh, some of the people that don't know you, why don't you, uh, you know, kind of introduce yourself a little bit, tell you about, about yourself, uh, you know, how long you've been carp fishing, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, I don't know, go from there. We'll give you the floor for a second. Yep. Uh, well, give, well, give a shout yeah. out to somebody, too, whoever. Yeah, that, that'll that come last, you know, there's a Christmas. Gotcha. Like you did. Yeah, Christmas yeah. list. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. grateful for uh, every one of them. Yeah, for sure. That whole mess from Pennsylvania. Um, live up by the, by the York Lake, actually, in Pennsylvania. That's one of my favorite places to fish. Yeah. Um, I'm actually a carpenter. I, I, I build massive decks. Um, wild water, Bay Lake, boat, bird tower, boat. I'm knowledgeable, Bay Lake, knowledgeable, and learning more knowledge every day with wild water nice. and Bay Lake also. Nice. Um, of course, you know, you guys put me on a team and let me have my other team there in PA, Tennessee 6, which is a full team. Like I said, there are three Bay Lakers, three wild water guys, but all six of us are versatile in both. That's why we're in Tennessee 6. I feel like we're deadly no matter where we go. <laughs> that's what so, we're, that's what we, that's, that's that gap we're trying to bridge right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see how they, you see how with the Senators of 6, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see how he pretty much did that there? Yeah. Because all them guys in, like, PA and North Carolina, they work together. They're learning. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, you can learn off both sides, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, let yeah. him, let him go ahead and finish. Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. But yeah, I uh, actually fished for a few different teams. Uh, I fished for you guys, of course. But the first team I want to shout out to is Joe Lewis, man. He, he's done nothing but show me a gateway. Joe Lewis? So, yeah, from <laughs> first part of the paper I opened was one of them baked Godzilla. And that, you know, that's where I found my love, man. Right. So that was always a dream of mine was to fish for him. Also, as well as to fish for you guys, like I said about that oval on your chest right there. Yeah, man. That's where it's at for me in, in the United States. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate that too, man. I'm, I'm be a part of that and leave you a team in Pennsylvania. That's just such a great honor. You would not believe I know. So, yeah, I've been for one on RNW in the wild, one on for Bay Lake. I run a team for Joe Looks in the wild water, RWPA. And there are four Sinister Six teammates on that team. Me, nice. Jeremy Metz, Chris Brady, and Ty Buck. Okay. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. fish for RW Wildwater. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, our we are Go on, sorry. Try to get into the New River Tournament. I missed it by three people last year. Mm, yeah. Mm. In second. It's gonna, I think it's going to I think it's going to sell out in record time. Yeah, it took over just over five seconds last year, and I missed it within two seconds. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah I ended up fishing the St. Lawrence River last year, also the marathon. Yeah. yeah. How'd you like that? Oh, that was an amazing experience. Um, Ninety-six hours of you know work. It's a whole different adrenaline, ain't it? It's it's ninety-six hours of work. Uh, yeah, like non-stop I too. I 200, 300 pounds of bait in four days. Well, we caught over a hundred fish. Yeah, just couldn't but, get. 
only one was big enough for the board. That we were in a cove, every fish we caught were all spawned out. Uh, Everything was from 1902 to 1914. Oh, wow. And how many, you only got, you said you only got 125? 120 pounder even. Oh, so that was the mark. Was yeah, the 20 yeah. or bigger. 20 or bigger, gotcha. Yeah. Man. All oh. the fish in the main river weren't spawned out yet. Everything that hit the cove yeah. in the marina, they were all spawned out already. Yeah, so who was it? They was feeding. Who was your teammate at the time? That was Chris Brady and Jeremy Metz. Oh, huh? Gotcha. Teammates. Both of them teammates, team fish fires. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was, that was the weekend we added Jeremy. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We did. Yeah. Yeah. You said he came to me and you asked him about him and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely a good teammate, too. He's a, he's, he's basically right there on the right side all the time, isn't he? Yeah, pretty much when we're in Bay Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you fished the New York uh, tournament? Just the St. Lawrence. Just St. Lawrence? Gotcha. Yeah. So you haven't did the spring the spring one there? No. No. That's one. Uh, I, we are um, already the first people signed up for the next uh, Segway 6 next year of St. Lawrence. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's, yeah, hey, so that spring we, one's we, one we, you uh, got to go to. Prize and got our team first draw next year. We won't have to register. It's already paid for and everything. Oh, so really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, sweet. So that's that's sweet. Yeah. Especially I already know you guys are already in, so you ain't gonna stress and. Have long time to plan. Yeah. Yeah. Have longer time to plan too, because you know you're automatically in. Actually, absolutely. That one. That they ain't gonna have to bother. <laughs> yeah. Do you? Uh, how long have me? I know mean, I know how long, but for people out there that don't know, how long uh, how long you've been like actually doing a lot of wild water fishing? This would be my going on my third year of wild water fishing. Because you was born, raised doing pay lake, and then you, then you I, was, I, I found in my love that pay lake fishing. Yeah, I, yeah. Pay how lake long you been pay lake fishing? Six years. You said for the last six years. Yeah, that's how long I've been carp fishing. Okay, gotcha. I dig it. So, do you make your own rigs? I I do, but I used to support Brian Banks, and I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just ain't heard from him for a while to get hooks. Yeah. So yeah, I use my own ties. Um, yep. I use a buddy Chris Brady ties all my hair rigs. I have tied my own, but yeah. I just fully trust his hair rigs. I've yeah. never lost a fish. Like the never had come apart nothing so huh. yeah Chris Brady knows how to tie him up but he don't live that far you say he you don't live that far from you no him and Jeremy everybody lives about 20 minutes from me okay the only person that's uh basically far away is Chris uh, Chris Ron Deco yes, yeah he's from up um towards the area yeah I'm gonna try to get a hold of him man I'm having a hard time get a hold of him myself I had on the phone, on the messenger the other day, he gave me his address and he's just uh, he saw he apologized for being away for a little while, but holidays and everything he said. Oh yeah, yeah. I was actually thought about uh, uh, see if he wants to do some kind of video shoots, uh, um, like a cooking on the bank type of thing, you know. Yeah. Kind of get you know anglers out there you know when they do wild water fishing maybe uh teach stuff about cooking on the side of the bank that's easy easy prep whatever i was, was going to incorporate that in one of my next videos oh there you go year. let's do it i love cooking on the side of the bank yeah uh, i think you get a lot of uh i think there's anglers out there would just love learn different techniques and all that stuff something that's easy to prep up and all that kind of oh and, i guarantee yep. they would oh, wow. yeah, yeah. So it's about the whole experience. Yeah, too. memories, yep. you know, memories, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. How many kids you got? Me, I have two. Yeah. How old are they? My son is twenty-four, and my daughter will be twenty-one. Oh, okay. Your yeah, your son's the, the computer expert. I forgot about that. They uh, fish with you? They do. Uh, occasionally, yeah. Occasionally, sweet. Cool. You know, they're twenty, and they're they got their own thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's, I'm too much to keep up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I said I'm too much. You're a wire. <laughs> you're like you're definitely a go-getter. That's for sure. You know, so that's one of the, one things I liked about you. You know, you know, uh, if you love something, go for it. Yeah, thank you. You know, especially. Uh, a uh, starved mouth, a closed mouth, don't get fed. Exactly. No, exactly. So. Um, you want to open up for a couple questions? Yeah, go ahead. Um, anybody out there watching, if you guys got a question for uh, Paul, uh, feel free to ask. We'll get a mask for you. Yeah, shoot. Uh, what is your, uh, at this moment, on the, what's your personal best? Yeah, what's your PBs? My, my common PB is... 35 pounds, one ounce. Nice, nice. Wild water column. What about Pay Lake? My Pay Lake PB is 25 even. I've caught four of them, can't break that. He said caught four of them, can't <laughs> break that. It'll happen. 25 even in a Pay Lake, man. I don't know what's up. Yeah. But, uh, what about Buff? My buff, I have not caught a 20-pound buff yet. It is a 19.9. No, you can't get over that hump, huh? <laughs> Once you do, though, it's going to be all downhill from there. You'll start. But it's you guys, two years now. Yeah, you guys just got a lot of yellows there, though, right? Yeah, yeah. We only got like seven, maybe nine buffs in all four of our lakes, or three carp lakes we have. There's only like nine buffs in there. That, um, and I'll You oh, was uh, showing a few times. You showed me some pictures of uh, your latest catch, uh, some sa uh, those little salmons, uh, right? Trout. So, tr sorry, trouts. Oh. Yeah, trouts. Yeah. I didn't think that sounded right. Uh, well, you got a lot of trouts up around your area? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of streams. Yeah. And, you know, Saggy's, the Pay Lake, the fish, shot out the beach, Carol, they do a nice place there. Now, that's one uh, thing. It's a lot of beautiful trout, man. That's one Big thing. I, trout. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about a lot of pay lakes, uh, uh, especially down south or something. They do a lot more, uh, they got a lot of trout fish in their lakes. And up, up here, we don't. It's mainly like you just basically some channel cats here and there. But yeah, but yeah, we don't, they don't carry uh, trouts or, What's at going all on, Chris? around here at Anderson? all. Huh. Yeah, man. Um, Different. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I think there's. I don't think I remember a let get the, ever did that except for. Now I remember eleven eleven. They used to carry uh, uh, channel cats all the time. They had Clear Creek Fisheries come by and load yeah. up their lakes all the time. But you know, it's our lakes freeze really bad here sometimes in the winter. But there's so many ways that these that pay lakes could capitalize on. You know. Yeah. Every tournament, you gotta think there's a there's. That's just 50, big, 50 plus guys, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. get tired of eating big house, big house pizza. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wish they would allow food trucks to pull up or... Like, get some tenderloins. Yeah, get like, tenderloins. have food every tournament, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Joe, look, that boy, let me tell you what. He's I've never been to Joe Leslie. You don't even have to leave your spot. You got ladies riding around bringing you your stuff. Yeah, man. I uh, I always heard nothing but good things about Joe's Lake, and he basically how he treats his carp like kids of his own kids. He's got a beautiful lake for him. It's all set up the most, the best way known for carp. You know, you got all these aerators, you got landing mats, almost at every uh, pegs. So, um, and I'm not sure if it's in the works right now. It's already in the works, but I heard they even bought a bunch of the carp cradles for. Each yeah, other. It's, they're already there. You yeah. bought a carp cradle for every spot. Yeah. yeah. Right. If so, you're in a tournament and you, and you pay, you, you take a carp cradle to your spot and you return it when you're done. Okay. And that's, and that's nice too. So what that... We bought, I think, 70 of them off of Rafael Lazio off of Carp Banger, I do believe. Yeah. Carp, gotcha. We, are, we, we want to try to get him to come to our, our Carp Chili Meet yeah. Expo. Uh, Carp I, Expo, I had asked sorry. Him and I think he said he was trying to. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if he could, man. I, that, I think it'd bring in a lot more people. See, too. I'm looking for carp anglers, you know, vendors that, you know, brings uh, bait boats, uh, bivvies. 
for wild, what I want to say, wild water stuff, all kinds of stuff. That's like, and he has it all. Though. Yeah, he actually he does. He does. Uh, for a fraction of, the, I think the price. I mean, I ain't gonna say a fraction of the price, but I know he's got good deals. Yeah. Five dollars shipping, you can't beat that. You can have three hundred pounds of boilies, and it's gonna cost you five dollars. Boilies? See, I like to see a company that makes a lot of boilies. You know, I know Joe Les. He's starting. He's, Joe Lynch makes up uh, pretty much 95% of them for the, his, but, his teams and stuff. But that's mainly for uh, his tournaments. I mean, yeah, yeah, but, you know, I'm sure if somebody, you know, I know for a fact that he's made some for other people. He's made some for me. When I went to Connecticut, he gave me some. Gotcha, gotcha. Good-ass boy, yeah. Yeah, but Joe Lutz is just a good-ass dude. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, man. He gives you the shirt off his back. Yeah. I mean, he'd probably give you his draws too, but you probably, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying that's just the type of, type of guy he is. I'm mad him, though. You know? Uh, then they've got the other, uh, we got we have a uh, a, uh, a bait shop here um, that's get, pretty much get on top of his game, too. Uh, the Bobber Shop. Chris. Yeah, I met him at the Tilly meet last year. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, He'll be back this year. Matter of fact, he has surgery. He had surgery today, so shout out to him. Hopefully everything works out the right yeah, way. Yeah, because I know he was just trying to get into yeah. the new shop and everything, yeah. too. He's got a new bait shop. It's going to be bigger, but he's... It he, is big. It's huge. Oh, have you seen it? No, I just know what building it is because oh, I've, I been, I've, I've been... I've been out... Like, if I ever go to Geist and Fishing, we always go out that way. And it's that like... A, no. Yeah, it's like a... Um, because the last bait shop that he had it is, is small, but I tell you, everything is so organized. No, he had well, he had a pack too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. And so I think this place is, but he's actually he keeps on reaching out to me. He reached out to another person too, that how he wants to get more wild water stuff mm -hmm. too into the shop. He wants to track a lot of carp anglers into his area. Yeah. So. Uh, Brian Hauser's got a question for you. That's one of our, another one of our teammates. What's up, uh, Brian? How you doing, brother? He said, "What's your go-to pick, pick up in Pay Lake?" What's my go-to pick up? Yeah, for the Pay Lake. Is that a secret? Um, <laughs> I, I bug pick up. Yes, sir. Uh, um, it depends, you know, like spring. If, if I'm if I'm and I'm there ain't no fish pulling and I know I want to catch me a fish, right. I'm going to throw on my my reaper's breath. It's it's one of my go-to's. It's a hot great Godzilla. Hot great Godzilla. That's a green one, right? That that is no. That no. is Bubba's ripping reaper. Okay. Yeah. That is Dominator and Godzilla. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I can dig it. With that. another little base flavor, but that's. No, I hear say. Yeah, that's me, you know, up and down. So, okay, so uh, with you, of course, you got a sponsor from Joe Letts, and of course, he owns uh, RNW and one on Bates. And Bubba's. Uh, and now Bubba's. Uh, what? Yes, sir. Now, are you sponsored by a particular flavor company, I mean, or, or just whatever Joe Letts gives you? I mean, are you. Uh, I'm, I'm sponsored by. One all on three of, all three of them. Yeah, now. he's sponsored by all three, pretty much. Okay. Like you said, he does. Um, Cover both ends for for Joe. You know, wild and pay legs. Legs, so. Right. Yeah. And uh, take care of me. I, I, you know, I'm I'm here for Joe. Whatever he needs, he knows right. he just needs to call. Love you so much, Joe. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Uh, that uh, R and W has been. It's probably one of the oldest. Flavor that's, companies. That's why I love it because uh, it's ever been since around. I mean before uh, <laughs> uh, before I started was, fishing. What's that? Was that was that what's that flavor? Those flavors you get? Amy's. From? No, a Amy's. 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 Annie's. Yeah. And a little. You talking about the little? Yeah, uh, from like grocery stores. Yeah. Annie's, or is it Cornfield? Oh, uh, McCormick's. Before Mc, oh, you're talking about yeah, you're talking yeah. about for like pies and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Those have been around for where I used to use the stuff. I used to use a lot of coconut and stuff out of that when I used to make my brand. Anus. Balls. Huh? Anus. Stop. Yeah, I know, right? The, that when the it, beer's kicking in. You know, we were talking about anuses no, and stuff. No. When, right. I, when I first got into car fishing. Anise. Anise. Yeah. No, they call it anus. It's anise. They call it anus. I know. But anyway, but. Uh, Kicks puff, beans, <laughs> <what is it? laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Lorraine oils. 
Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was talking about. Okay, but you was, you yeah. was right though. McCormick's my, my, is, yeah. through Lorraine and Cinnamon. Yeah, McCormick's was the I think uh, was basically the first flavor company for carp fishing or cat fishing at the time, and then these other flavor companies like R and W start to pop come around. And I forget the last the fir the first owner of R and W was his name. He passed away. And then they, Joe Letts bought it. Who's who that guy? Uh, man, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I I don't his remember name. his name right offhand. You guys know it. But he has been around because, yeah. you know, I'll be honest with you, like, I knew R&W was around, but the first flavor company that I ever known of yeah. was Todd with Bubba J's. Bubba J's. Yeah. 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 Uh, Bubba J's turned to <sighs> Lake Monster, Lake Monster. And then... And, and it's still Lake Monster. It's still Lake Monster. Well, it's just, you know... Um, I'm sure they. I mean, they and they and they still got it too. They still got all the flavors, right. all that. Uh, of course, now uh, Chris on a barber shop. He's got. He just said he got another uh, flavor company under his belt. So he got. Uh, he has that gel bait, don't he? Well, no. It's actually it's hog sauce, and he just he just decided to keep it that way. Just keep it all hog sauce. Yeah. He was going to name it Jail Bait. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, it didn't really. I mean, he's sort he's, uh, Chris is a, he's a great guy, but he's, he's, he's sort of kind of new to the game of carp fishing. Yeah, so he's uh, came to a couple of our but, videos. Yeah, shows. and he, yeah, he, but he's learning so fast. He's came to the Pay Lake and fished it, with me a couple times. Exactly. Yeah, he goes to the Pay Lakes and uh, he was over Hubbard's a lot, but he, you know, and, but he he wants to learn, and he wants to try get all the wild water stuff people that they need. He wants to learn. I I think he wants to get in there and learn it, so he yeah. he knows like what a pay laker would need or what a wild water guy would need, like as far as like to make this session for four days or whatever it may be. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Paul. Let's talk about competition. Okay. How you how how competitive are you in, in a tournament? Like you go to a pay lake or something like that. When it comes to tournament, yeah. Um, to be honest, like it's. Are you like a pit bull? Everybody everybody likes going to win. That's why we get in the tournament. Right. To win. Yeah. Everybody that goes to these tournaments is a winner. Yeah. Until the fat lady thinks. So everybody is going hard. Right. I'm gonna go as hard as I think the next guy's going. Right. If I see you in the wild, you're just nonstop putting bait out. Guess what? I'm going to wear myself out trying to put more out as you. I see you casting in a pay lake, and you just you're you're just casting, and I'm going to let my bait know you're baiting your hole up. I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. I'm going to go as hard as my next person. Yeah. Now uh, you got to use a. Uh... You use pickups, but what what do you, do you also do some kind of pack bait or anything like that? You bottom feeder bait. Well, of course. Well, so. yeah. <laughs> they like it, they love it. <laughs> oh man, speaking of that, you did a, a song for uh, for bottom feeder baits. Yeah, I mean, uh, I love that song. Guys, yeah, gotta get you some that tournament blend, boy. It'll it'll make it happen. I tell you, that's a, a lot of people do like that tournament blend, especially for uh, buff fishing. You know, whoever particles, 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 particles. Yep. But uh, any fishing, really. You know what I mean? Some wild water gets you some cattle cubes. Yeah, well, I do you like cattle cubes. Babe. I do like cattle cubes. And some molasses. Yeah, molasses. And that's the cool thing about the tournament blend. It's got that dry molasses. I learned that. I learned that from the goat himself, and that's uh, Mr. Gill. Oh my God. You know, he actually. Sorry. Yeah, we're getting off for you on subject with you for a second, Paul. Um, no, the Gilbert, when I went to Del Hall with him one time, he actually took a, a big old cow cube or a big block of dry molasses or something. Mm -hmm. No, he took a big block of uh, salt, mm -hmm. broke it in half or something like that. I, Man, I kept it out, so I forgot. But he actually, he also poured uh, uh, liquid molasses 
on top of it too. Mm -hmm. And then of course take the the boat out there and the drop in a couple spots and then he threw it also through his pickups and baits all around it. You know, his boilies, you know, uh, around it too. And he was using that uh, world classic bait uh, jumble corn. Mm -hmm. You know, around it. So he has some good fish though. Yeah, he yeah. hunts his one yeah. bad ass too. Yeah, he's a uh, bad man. You know, he works with my daughter. I moved corn up at St. Lawrence. He was up there. Oh, was he? Was he? Selling. It's, a, it's almost as big as a quarter. Oh, yeah. That yeah. corn is no joke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. That works out. Works good. Yeah. Hey, uh, you wanted to do, do a quick game real quick? Yep. All right, we're going to do a quick game. Yep, this is a quick game. It's about Paul. And, uh, so go ahead and write that. That's the weight. Matter of fact, Paul, this is one of your fish. Okay. And we're gonna post on out. So the person, the first person to guess this weight, we'll give him. One bag, one four pound bag of wild oats from Bottom Feeder Bay. The Bates. next week we'll have Four bottles of uh, Wicked Flavor that was donated uh, to by Jacob. Oh, that'd be. Uh, we'll put a bag with that too. Okay, sounds great. And uh, so here's the first. There, we'll get it kind of close so yep. you can see how big it is. So whoever gets the first weight to that fish gets a uh, bag of bottom feeder baits, wild oats, and a flavor, right? No, that's that'll be that's on next week's. Okay, week. next week, sorry. But yeah, just one bag of wild feeder baits, wild wild oats. Well, you know we'll have some. We should have some donations coming in. Can I give a clue? Nope. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. But he said, "Can I give a clue?" No, Paul. Let him, man, give, let him give him. Let him give him a clue. I don't. You tell him what lake is from. Uh, I'll just give him this clue. It was not caught on pickups. It was caught on cornmeal. Oh, there you go. So you, oh, you seen the fish, right? Yeah. You don't even know. Okay. There. Let's go ahead and throw it up. There we go. So that's. There you go. It's a shame it's all in black and white too, but that's the way it is. That's just the way James's printers yeah. were, is set up. So, pretty people out Color there. Color is more expensive. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. Here we sit that way. And, uh, oh, how's that? Let's do that that way for a second. Jason will see it. But, uh, all right. So, uh, okay, let me get the, let me throw it. We'll do the, okay, we, I think we already talked about that. Now, I know you, we, there's a bunch of questions we asked you last time you was on our show, and they're probably basically the same, but for some, for some of the anglers out there that never heard of your stuff, uh, when you do wild carp fishing, what's the first thing you, you basically do uh, to get your situation? Do you automatically, do you just go ahead and you chum automatically? No. No? Okay. What do you No, I walk up to the lake and I sit there for a while. It would probably be an hour before I even figure out where I'm fishing. Right. I want to find, I want to see activity. I yeah. want to see bubbles. I want to see a fish show itself. Yeah. That, it, you know. If you can't see nothing like that in the first hour, the first first thing you want to do is show up at daylight or okay. or dark or before daylight. Right. If you, you show up in the middle of the afternoon, you're not going to see that activity really. Right. So my first thing is I want to be there at daylight or just before daylight to see activity, and then you got a little bit of time to watch. Never rush into a session. No. No, I, I never run. Unless I know where I'm going and I know I've caught fish there before. Yeah. Then, yes, I'll rush right down to the bank. I'll set up. I'll spot, I'll spot bait. Nobody's hit it yet. You guys keep going. Yeah, so 
but I, I want to see activity first. So yeah. new venue, I'm not fishing for the first two hours probably. Now what do you chum with? Like corn, uh, what do you throw out there if you do start seeing activity? I have a couple different bod mixes that I like to use. Yeah. And I, I incorporate the tournament blend in my bod mix. Okay, I got you. I can dig it. So half my bod mix is pretty much a bag of tournament blend. Every time, or carb cocaine, I'm the same way. That's how I use yeah, it I'll, too. I'll use a, two giant cans of whole caramel corn. Um, I'll use chickpeas. I'll use uh, <coughs> the bird, bird seed mix. But you have to soak it first because yeah. the flower seed will float. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I like to use sweet peas a lot. Especially in the summertime, I like I like a sweet bean in the summer. Okay. Well, nice for them on the lake. Um, that's pretty much my go-to spot. Is just corn, sweet peas, chickpeas, some type of boilies, crunch, maybe half. Yeah. Or boilies in there. Definitely something to replicate what's going to be on my book. That's for sure. Yeah. Do you uh, do you ever mess with a uh, chow? Yeah, the pele. Yeah. Um, is that one of your go-to's? A lot of times when you do the, um, do you mix your chow with anything or anything or? Um, yeah, I uh, I, I don't flavor. Flavor my chow. You don't? Okay. Only I do to my chow with Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Or unless I'm using cream corn, and then I won't put no puffin. Yeah. Then if I go down south to the real deep lakes, right? Because we don't have the deep lakes around here. Our deepest lake, I think, is maybe 13 feet. Okay. I might be wrong. But down south, we got deep lakes, 22 feet creek side, I think, is. And your child ball break before you get to the bottom. So I put eight lakes in my child there. I heard that. I heard egg whites it really is really good. It'll make it. It'll make my ball hit the bottom. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Like, why? Why do you choose not to put flavor in your chow and only use Dr. Pepper or Mountain Dew? I, I myself, when it's chow season, that's what they want anyway. Yeah. Because they don't want to pick enough oats. They're not picking enough bread. They're not picking enough grits. Are not doing nothing but chow. So, so what? Go on. Sorry. They like already have enough flavor in them. Yeah. You just gotta find what pickup they want. Yeah. So what's uh, a lot of times in our bay lake you don't even need pack bait. Yeah. What's that? What time of the year is a uh, chow season? Oh, year round. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah, I know. But that's because you guys, you, you know, you're you're fishermen, and. Uh, fishermen and women and stuff like that you guys kind of work together on getting the fish off of the chow yeah yeah um the, the pay lake will turn it off like mid oh that's spring. right they do turn it off okay i got you i forgot yeah, turn it on i think like october first or august first i can't remember that i think on august you guys still haven't hit the uh number for the fish yet i've been watching it Go ahead, Paul. Yeah, they uh, they they turn they turn the chow off and they force the oats back to them and the rice comes back to that. Now, why do they do that? You guys know. The, the our lakes I don't think are deep enough for all the protein all summer long. Okay. Okay. That's my opinion. Sure. I, I, I that's why they do it. Okay. Our our, our carp in these shallow lakes don't need all that good stuff. Yeah. They're not searching for it. Okay. So what's one of your, uh, I think, of course, I don't want to know this, but what is, uh, what's your favorite lake that you like to go to the most? In Pennsylvania? Anywhere. Uh, Creekside? <laughs> Creekside. I knew that was probably a stupid question. <laughs> Creekside, if it's anywhere. Yeah. Okay. And wild water? 
That's why I my go. My favorite place that I've been to, it has to be the York where I go. Yeah. Where? Up the York, up the York Lake, it doesn't be. Okay. Is that that one that you go to, you and uh, you did the one of your video shoots at? That's where, that's where the part one and part two video That's real pretty. Yeah. That's pretty, yeah, that's a real pretty area. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of Del Hall a little bit. Just yeah. the, the scenery a little yeah. bit. Same kind of slow water. Yeah. No, no deep, big, strong fish. How many uh, lakes do you have around your area? And I'm not, I'm talking about wild water. Uh, a lot, huh? There, yeah, there. We got West Virginia right here. There's Cheat Lake. There's the York Lake. There's all kinds of few. Can you, hey Paul? Can you share? Like I know we kind of asked you about your, you know, uh, like you know when you started carp fishing, but um, what was the first memory of like you, your first time carp fishing? that really got you into carp fishing. You know what I mean? So like where you caught that first carp and was like, man, I want to get into this. Yeah, that, that was at Sankey Five Lakes in Smithfield, PA. Um, yeah, that was that was a that was a day that my nephew Ty Bugs, he's the center for six fishing yeah. for Jizzler. Um also pink fish fighters of course, but uh yeah, he calls. He says, "Hey, Paul, I, I learned how to catch these carp. I uh, want you to come catch these big ass fish with." Me. So we went to Sankey's, and he said, "Buy all what you want." I heard they like get Godzilla, <laughs> so I picked one old base Godzilla. We went out. Larry Ruffman is sitting on the bed. He sat there watching us fishing, and we caught a couple, couple. And then he reaches over and comes and tells us. He says, "Hey, man, let me tell you a little thing or two." He gave us the ropes and showed us the tricks. Let me get that. And I have to say, from there on out, I really enjoyed catching carp. All right. Well, we uh, we got a winner for that first one. And you want to tell them who won it? Uh, yep. The correct answer was twenty-five thirteen. 2513, and that was Zach Myers. Zach Myers. Congratulations, Zach. You got a, uh, give if it ain't the root boys, it's the boot boys. Oh, the root boys? No, that's what Jacob and them been calling herself, the boot boys. I mean, if, if he, yeah, he's No, a, uh, Zach is, he is a root boy. Okay. And yeah. Him, yeah. So you can get that to him. Uh, congratulations, uh, Zach. Uh, appreciate you even watching the Wild Wild Oak, Bottle of Beer Baits. Yep. Just give that to him. Yeah, I'll make, sure he, I'll make sure he gets it. Congratulations, Zach. Well, here in a few, we'll do another uh, a giveaway, guessing game on the next carp. Matter of fact, from you again, Paul. Hey, Paul. Uh, do you think, like, obviously, I, I'm sure there's other people around you that fish and stuff that use a lot of flavor in their bait, like, do uh, do you think that no flavor or more flavor catches more fish? Mm. Again, it depends on the time of the year. Summertime, I, I'm going to flavor my my rice and my oats. Mm. Yeah, good call. Do you do uh, and, um, rice? In, in, the, in the summer, flavor catches more fish than the winter. I think personally, mm -hmm. I think keep it simple, stupid. In the winter, yeah. catching more fish. I believe that too. But Summertime, I'm going to put no less than six cats in a bucket of bait. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, when you get into uh, tournament fishing and all that kind of uh, situation, do you have some, uh, and we don't have to mention names or anything, do you have like, uh, some competitive people that just like hate you or something like that when you like start catching all these fish? Well, you know, there, really? there's haters. Yeah, there's yourself. haters. There's haters. Especially in the Pay Lake world. You know, yeah. You know, there's that, a lot of competition. That's another reason why a lot of people are starting to fall in with wild water because in the wild water, there's no haters as much as you want. Yeah. It, it keeps you saner. Yeah. It, 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 I, you know, I've been a Pay Laker since I was a kid. 
Right. So I just, you know, all the passion's going out of it. You know. Yeah, the Bay Lake scene's changed so much in the six years that I've been a car fisherman. Yeah. This, my love has ventured to the take to the wild lake, to the wild side things now. Yeah, for sure. It definitely, uh, it's but, all, but it's all about competition. We'll always get Bay Lake because that's where my roots are at. Oh, right. yeah, me too. Same. But like you said, I, you know, I want to venture out and do more wild water. I fished a few, uh, I fished a few big tournaments, and it, hey, it'll definitely get you. It, uh, it applies you. It's a whole new. Planning ball. on a couple of big ones this year. Uh, I'm, I'm at least trying to hit four to five good wild water tournaments. Which one are you love? Bay Lakes this year. Which one are you looking for in the wild water right at this moment? Coming up. Say it again. Which wild water tournament are you planning on going to? I'm, I'm trying to hit the New River in April. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to try to hit one or two other ones with Joe. I'm not sure which ones yet. <laughs> i got a busy year coming so far. I've got chili, chili, uh, chili cook-off in February. I've got, oh, you got chili cook -off? the casting yeah, tournament in March. And then, of course, the New River in April. Yeah. And end of September, I know that already we have the, the Segway 6. Mm -hmm. St. Lawrence, that's just after the marathon. I'm not sure if we're fishing the marathon because it's two weeks mm -hmm. earlier. And, uh, and you, through your whole uh, carp, um, what's the, who's your biggest uh, that inspires you a lot or uh, uh, basically uh, your go-to person on carp fishing? You mean for advice for myself? Yeah. Is it you? Is it yourself? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I have a sign hanging on my fireplace to me right here that says I talk to myself sometimes <laughs> because I need extra advice. I don't know. I'd have like wild water. Yeah. I, I would. I would always send a message to Joe. Hey, Joe. You know, there you what? go. You're a man. Cause tell me what I need to do here. Yeah. Okay. Look at Bay Lake. A lot of things. Uh, I'm going to call a scientist. Hey, Todd Bug. What the hell am I supposed to do here if I'm stuck? I can't get it full. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. You either bring me something or tell me what to do. And right. nine times out of ten, it's going to work. Right, right. You just have to listen and trust other people. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And it's hard to do that. And it, you know, you try to give advice to people too, and they don't listen. They just. They, a lot well, that's of them because don't. they. That's because a lot of people don't want to believe that you're telling them the truth. Yeah, a lot of people think we're lying to them. Right, you're exactly right. You know, what, I mean, is that in the pay lake world or what? I mean, uh, I'm just both. more in the pay lake world for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm it's, sure both. Yeah. Like I said, it's changed, you know. Well, uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see more than in a competitive could, world. When I was know. a kid growing up, you could all, I could walk up and ask you, man, I've seen you catch 30 fish over here. What flavor are you, what flavor dough ball are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm hitting them on strawberry. No, that's not a question right there. Do you think that... Uh, People that have bait businesses, flavor businesses, or, or whatever, uh, bait business, do you actually think that they're throwing, uh, they got a special blend for their uh, teammates, you know, or their... Uh, I think I think a lot then, of people understand the flavors more or they, you know, Where they don't want, they'll say the good stuff for them, and for... The, you know, and keep away from the other people? I I just think people know how to use, this is just my opinion, yeah, you know, opinion. people understand the flavors more, you know, they figure them out and, you know, like figuring out what works, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. old, I'm like, just take uh, Bear, Shane, and Zach, okay. the root boys, just take them for instance, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Like, I don't care what nobody says. They have something figured out that works for them. You know what I mean? And it's constantly not only producing fish, but fish. they produce a lot of big fish. Okay. And that's not, you know, that's not a coincidence. No. 
You know what I mean? Them boys put the time in. They figure something out that works for them. You know that, what I mean? Is that only at a certain lake? Huh? Is that only at a certain no. lake? No. It's all them different. Boy, them boys is yamming every. I don't know. You fish with them more. You're, you're I combat. fish against them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, I put my money up just like everybody else does. And when we give our money up, uh, it's gone. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's just all you know. It's all right, here we go. It's all who's your uh, who's your biggest competitive competitor? Your competitor. Uh, it really just depends. Sometimes there's sixty five of them. Sometimes there's one people. person. There is no. Uh, there is there, oh, there is no man. one person. Everybody's got that one person. Paul, you got one person. That I'm again. I'm you know like we're all friends. And, yeah, until and, until they pull my chip out of the bucket. You know what I mean? And then it's, <laughs> I'm you know. <laughs> Hey, that's it. It is what it is. That's what that's you know. That's what it's turned into. It it, it didn't used to be like. Oh, that. oh, I got my chip. You guys are all my enemies now. <laughs> no, nah, not enemies, but you know what I mean. They're there, they're there to take my money. You guys are going to take down. That's what it is. Hey, I got my chip now. I got the chip on my shoulder. You it's, guys you know, are going down. That's what it is. It's it's the same in it's the same in the wild water tournaments. Is there, right. there's just a lot more class about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's a more broad view, more people are watching because it's it's big. Yeah. You know what I mean? Of course it's big. It's 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 <laughs> I feel like carp fishing, honestly, wild water in the USA is inside us a, a box and it's about to explode one of these years. That's what that's how I really feel about it. Do you feel like I'm not I'm I'm asking you these questions, but I should be asking Paul. Yeah, too. you should ask me asking Paul. But you know, but well, I'll, I'll just say we're all to, we're all together. So yeah, know. you know, if he's got a question, uh, like the people overseas, do you feel like that's way? Do you think they that train you, them fish and, and feed them? But their waters are just there's no comparison, man. They're monsters over there. Monsters. We're, like the USA, we just believe the U, U, United States is further behind than any of, any other country that we think. Uh, carp fishing, I feel like it is. Yeah, Paul, you feel like yeah, it? we're we're slowly approaching. Yeah, I think it. Uh, I feel like ten years ago, it's it's actually. I feel like it's it really shot up after ten years ago. To me, ten years. I mean, it's just gonna take the it, right people to. I think when so they can become a carp, become the sport fish. Well, it's it's gonna be about money. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, that's what it's going to be about yeah. at the end of the day. Like, even with the wild water tournaments or even in the pay lake, it's all going to it's going to be about the money. Yeah. Somebody's going to, you know, certain people are going to end up getting together and they're going to capitalize on it just like they did bass fishing and start running these big tournaments just like Air Peep, just like the New River tournament it just started last year. Those are going to start popping up more and more. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's going right. to take, you know. They'll probably be two a year instead of one. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like there's all well, there's I mean think about it. There's more than that. You got you got New York in the spring. You got the Fall Classic. Then you got you know, uh, Joe Lester. Can the Connecticut tournament, the New River tournament. So that's already three, four, five tournaments are already right there. Yeah. Oh, the White River tournament. Yeah, we yeah the White. Man, but we just we just, that's just, a, that's just we a, need that's somebody a, to stock our river. Yeah. You know, I asked a question that a long time ago. You know, I'm not going to mention names. It, you know, it's, it's, these carp anglers are, are kind of well known here in the, in the Indiana area. But I was asking this question. I said, I know I'm going to probably shoot myself in the foot. And I put this posted this on the on the, the Hoosier Carper group page a long time ago. I, uh, what do you guys think? I I know you know that if we somehow stock a bunch of huge carp in the White River, do you guys think it's it will be a bad thing? And a lot I got a lot of people say yes, it'll be a bad thing. Yeah, because what, you think they're gonna stay right there? No, I mean no, they're yeah. gone. Yeah, they're following that. They're following that current. Yeah, they're trying to find. Yeah. It. It's gonna open up into a lake somewhere. Yeah. Well, the the people that I was asking those questions to. They they were they were, they hated carp they hate pay lakers they cannot despise pay laking because you know they like that's I mean well, I mean what I'm saying they because no carp care that's why that uh, yeah. but they 
did I like the Pale Acres because they didn't like how uh, the wild card, well, the cart, the wild card was going to the Pale Lakes, and and that where they should basically sat in the same, you know, keep them in the same place. So I came out with a question. So I'm playing the devil's advocate. I'm like, so what? So I guess that the Civil War, when they were bringing carp from overseas to bring to feed the army here in the United States, they should have just kept the fish in uh, in that country and never if we never did, induced the carp. It, over yeah, it, and we'll never had a chance to fish for carp here in the United States. Now they're now they're carp every, everywhere now you know, in the United States and uh, <laughs> the guy was kind of quite surprised they even said something like that. You know, that oh okay well you know but but he said yes if you want to know the truth I, he, he loved carp fishing but yes that fish should have stayed over there. Over there. I mean, it's as it's, it's, you know, that's just the way he thinks. That's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong. How? That's America. That's fine. But you know, we have our passion. You know, but you know, it, it is. It is. Yeah, like when William Bowman said, uh, you know, the dam used to be six, uh, 16th Street Dam used yeah. to be high. Yeah, it was. So you know, we used to be our, our water was higher than. I would love to see a White River get you know how. It's, Back in, I heard more healthy. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard that back in the day, uh, White River used to be awesome with carp fishing until this big chemical spill mm -hmm. that happened in White River that killed all the fish. Yeah, but I'm sure it changed. Yeah, one day it's, I think they're working on it slowly, but they'll get there one day. But it is this. What do you prefer fishing? What do you prefer the most? You like fishing at night or during the day? Day, I can't see shit at night. I'd rather just really. Sit there. Are you blind? Yeah, I. I don't like fishing at night. No. Uh, especially like on bait and stuff at night. Yeah. Uh, I like to go where I'm putting shit. Yeah. I can see that. Um, I, I'll bait higher before dark. Yeah. And I'll dry. I, I cast my poles. Again, I'll rebait, pack bait, whatever, and fresh, fresh hook bait for the night time. A lot of times, that fresh hook bait, no, no noise, no nothing at night, and it brings you a lot of good bites at night. But do you, uh, you like lakes or rivers? Uh, lakes, I've only been to a few rivers. Gotcha, okay, gotcha. Again, what? I, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Tom, Tom's got the floor, go ahead. Uh, the your dough ball that you make, your cornmeal ball. Okay. You know, uh, I mean, I've I've made cornmeal too, but do you make the over and under ball that they call the over and under? I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard that. I mean, I'm gonna. I don't think I've ever explained that. I get it. I guess they call it over and under, or something like that. And it's two different types of, I want to say cornmeal, maybe. I don't, you know, or maybe, I, maybe I, you know, when I'm fishing, I don't care, you know, like I'm very observ observant, you know what I mean? Of, over and under. Yeah, and I, it's like, it's like. Two How you do over and under? It's like two different types of uh, cornmeal, I, from what I, from I guess I mean, what, I, what I think I saw, you know. I, I use two different types of cornmeal. I use the yellow and I use the white. Well, I mean, I over see another? one packed on top of another, like one put on there as a pickup. Like it's it's harder. Oh no! Um, and then what like, I do is I normally just use my normal cornmeal. Yeah. I make a one and I make a different one, depending on like you know dog days they got sore lips, they you know they're wanting slimy stuff. They don't want such hard stuff during them days. So I'll use the slimy one with a little bit of rice over it or something, or a little bit of oats over it. Just like a regular pack bait over top of my core mill instead of a pickup. Yeah. Hey guys, I, out there, if you guys have any questions for Paul, sorry, this is less stuff. Did I interrupt? Oh, uh, no, he was still talking. Oh. Here. All right.
Go ahead, Paul. I'm sorry. I think that's what you mean by over and under. I think that's what they're doing here with it. Yeah. Cover it with O's and Tattoo. Yeah, I just, I, I, you know, just being, just seen them, like, fishing with it, I seem like they always put, like, a little piece on their hook because they're using small hooks, too. And then they take yeah. another one, and they, uh, which will, I'm sure one probably breaks down really fast and then leaves that little dough, um, yeah. leaves that little dough ball right there on top of that little, you know, uh, little cornmeal ball that, that broke down. So when that co cart comes, it just, you know, I mean, picks that little pickup. Okay. Gotcha. That's why they don't use no sinkers and stuff like that most of the time, because they got that little heavy part on their little hook. What size sinkers do you use, Bob? Um, in Bay Lakes, I use an ounce and a half. In, in the wild waters, you know, it varies because of the condition. But they all come from raw stout, get the lead out. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Stout. Yeah. He does some great work. Yeah, that's, that's one of my sponsors. That, uh, oh man, I had some good questions that I forgot. Brain farted. Uh, brain farted. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Do you, okay, with Team Fish Fighters, Paul. Okay. What's your uh, What's your plans for uh, next year that you that you got in your mind? I just going for video shoots or something like that. Anything special or videos you want to put together for you? What's What do you got? Oh yeah, you're going. You're going to be busy, bud. I am going to be busy. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. I'm going to have some um, tips and trick videos coming to rigs and tips and tricks, and you know, of course, a monthly video. I'll try to get out for everybody of uh, uh, bunker bed. Rather it be a bay lake or uh, wild water. Right. I have a few new venues in mind that I'm going to go check out here once the weather breaks and it gets nice. Who knows, I may end up there in winter to check it out. I don't know. But they look very, very promising. No, uh, a, couple, a couple of buddies of mine have told me that uh, a friend of his fished it for six hours, caught five twenties and 31 fish total. Nice. So nice. I'm going to check that out. <laughs> I know uh, one of our... Uh, uh, while we used to do, uh, and, we, and I think we still do it here, we just need to, uh, right around uh, the, after the carp chili meet, we, our team was get together and we talked about the upcoming video shoots, right. uh, you know, and what we do on each month, you know, to plan out the, uh, what day, what month, we're all, and we, we basically had our stuff all set up each month and uh, uh, to have our video shoots and what lake we going to go to. You know? Right, yeah, I'm working on a list. Yeah. Make that oh. one, like, right after the moon, we're going to do it until January? Well, they're always after the carp chili bean. Yeah, like January, January, February, somewhere there. After February. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I feel like our tournament, <laughs> it seems like to me, Things start kicking off, I feel like, right after March Madness, Todd Ross. Yeah. Well, we, we you know, we, I mean, we've still been having porch pots. Yeah, like, there's one, you know, as long as everything ain't froze, there, there, we got, there was one this Sunday. They just had a team poundage tournament yeah. uh, last week. Um, it was, a, you know, there was a lot of big fish caught, a lot of 20s, 25s, 26s. So just fish with big, big fish of the day. All right, we got another uh, giveaway to do, you know. So whoever can guess, there's, I got it. You got it. Yeah. So whoever could guess the weight of this fish. James, you've been watching porn. No. <laughs> Whoever's the first one to guess the weight of that fish, another fish caught by Paul, uh, let us know the first one and then they get a, a bag of tournament blend. There you go. 
40 pound bag. Oh, 40 pound bag. <laughs> Four pound nah, bag. Pound bag wow. <laughs> Four pound bag of tournament blend. <laughs> Whoever guessed the first fish. So. Mm. But, uh, what is a dream lake you would love to go fish, Paul? I already know that one. Good answer, Jane. Dale Hollow. Bingo. <laughs> we do a whole team video shoot there. So we the should, thing. man. It's as many as we can get. We need yeah. to do it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be sweet. Yeah, it's uh, one of our teammates. Uh, he kind of doubts that he's going to be leaving the team here next year. So uh, he wants to. Um, hate to see him go. Farewell, farewell, farewell uh, session for him. Yeah, we should. Yeah, uh, uh, Dewan, Dewan Thompson. He's going. He's talking about leaving. Try to talk him out of it, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. He's just busy with life, and yeah. you know, he's been dedicated. Like yeah, I, yeah. I can honestly say, like he's really, really been dedicated from this time he's became on this team, and he ain't, he ain't let off the gas at all. No, but uh, not love not, Indian, not, that's TFF for life. He's alumni. Yeah, that's yeah, why I was trying sure. to talk to him, but he wants to. He just wants to concentrate more. He said he wouldn't feel right. You know what I mean? Not giving his full dedication to the team, so that's why he wants to. Yeah, but you but, know, we've all dealt with our yeah, own little you know. stuff on the team and everything like that, and you know what? We've all still stayed together, and, and yeah. you know what I mean. Like that's, I'm sure that's, he'll be back one day. It's not to me. It's not. It's not, it's it's not a team to me anymore. You know what I mean? I look at it like a, you know, I don't have a bunch of family, so you know, I look at it like that is my family. Yeah, definitely. Oh boy, that's right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try to get a carp out of the ice hole this year on film. Yeah, me too. To put on there. I I did a video. Oh, on one. Yep. What you found? Yeah. Yep. Right there. I I I'd love to pull a carp out of an ice hole. All right. We I got know it. I know the lake I'm gonna go do it this year. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. Uh, we keep that area baited up all the time. I believe that you know the way it works. So, hey, real quick, guys, uh, we have a winner. We have a winner, and it's uh, it's Chris Braddy, teammate. <laughs> uh, twenty, he guess twenty five even. And that's twenty five what it was. even. Twenty five even. So, <clears throat> Creekside in the house. Creekside. All right. So I'm with the. Mail that one, to Chris. Yep. So, yeah, congratulations, too. Chris. Good job. Yeah, we appreciate everybody. Uh, yeah. Brady, he's Sinister Six. The Sinister Six. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, boy. Uh, but uh, here in a few, we'll, th we'll throw out another uh, game, and we'll just this one here will just be uh, a guessing game between one through a thousand. Or yep, and thousand. it's gonna be um, it's gonna be. Uh, Another bag of what is that tournament blend? Yes, yeah, another bag of tournament blend. And then it's also going to be a, um, a, a twenty dollar donation oh. from Shine Time Cleaning LLC. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, so you know, shout out to Amy Murphy for donating the twenty dollars um, to put with that. So you know, somebody can get some flavors to put with that. Thank you, Amy. Yeah, that's awesome, love you. Well, the. Next question. What, you guys got some questions out there for Paul? Yeah, tell us. He said send it to Paul. Okay, I'll send it to Paul. I'm going to send it to you, Paul. All right, brother. For yeah. Chris. With some wild oats. With wild oats, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Done deal. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, Damn. That's some good questions here. Da -da. The passion. No, 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 no. No. What is the weirdest bait you've ever used carp Ooh. fishing? I got one. The weirdest bait I've ever used carp fishing. Ha! Ah. That's a tough question, bud. Hmm. I'm gonna have to say it was a session with the wife. 
<laughs> and these wanted to experiment, and it was whole bananas in my oats mm. with a combo on the hook. Okay. Bananas are uh, pretty good. My um... A combo, though. Do you know what it's like? A pizza combo? You know what he's talking about? Oh, my God. Are you serious? I don't know if it was pizza flavor, but it was a it was a combo like the combos, yeah. you know what I mean? Like a pretzel. Yeah, bananas. Uh, banana flavor is really good. Yeah, fish. I like using banana. Uh, I like the flavor, but when I put that whole banana in them oats, it made it it made them awesome. I, I I'm going to do that again. So, uh, what is your uh, biggest pet peeve about paypons? What's what something mm. that gets on your nerves about? It could be anything. When the whole damn lake is open, yeah. there's 52 spots in this in this lake, you know, and there's 12 <laughs> of them open in the top lake, and the whole tag's right beside me. <laughs> I can see that. And they throw and purpose. <laughs> Do you get, do you, that's another story, uh, another question. He, so what you're saying is, is you hate being pay late, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know all too well. I've seen. Do you, uh, do you have any problems sometimes with, uh, like says, uh, another angler no, is catching a lot of fish, that uh, you're catching a lot of fish, and they start throwing fish, they, their, line, their line pretty close to yours? Yeah, have. you'll have a lot of people buoy bounce. Yeah. I, I call it buoy bouncing like you know, buoy you bounce. got two buoys between you throw between it. Okay, so like, a lot of times I will lanes. fish eight inches off of my buoy into my hole. Mm. I don't want to throw it towards your hole. I want to keep my flavor and my bait in my hole. So I keep my stuff out of your hole. Well, my neighbor's bouncing his bait off my like buoy. Lane, so oh, really? This guy might try to Casting, you know what I'm saying? Pretty close to that buoy. Yeah. So I try to get to that pole as close as he hmm. can to keep it going off. Okay. Like if you're catching all the fish right here, he's right. Gonna, he's gonna cast right here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. All the time, so he's gonna try to be hitting real close to your buoy. But it won't cross the line. Well, he can't. You know. Yeah. If, if he does, so I mean, I'm I, you don't have to reel it in. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, oh, but you know, when you go fishing in places like North Carolina and stuff like yeah. that, like. It's totally different because, and I, and ninety five percent of it is because of these lanes and all that. You don't have no arguing or or fighting because hey, you're casting in my spot or you're casting too far or yeah. you know you don't have none of that down there. So it's uh, not, where the hell am I going to fish? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So it just it just cuts all that down. You know, it it, it cuts the uh, it cuts a lot of it. it makes your fishermen respect each other a lot more too because it's more about who's catching what in what hole you'll know because them holes will go pretty fast and not only does not a lot of people think about this either is, you know I, I look at them buoys as not just keep me in my spot but that makes me more accurate okay on how i want to cast and present my bait mm -hmm. and I get to learn how to control my fish a little better to keep it out of them guys' lines. Right, right. You know, every time I bring a fish in, I'm learning something new. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. We're good it's here. What time we got? 10 o'clock. Hmm? On the dot. I'm in my drop top. Because in the streets. Oh, geez. Well, okay. Let's look at close to 10, so we might as well just go ahead and do the. Uh, Man, it'll feel like we've been talking to you almost for two hours, does it? Have we? Like about talk all night, brother. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've been I've been doing it all my life, so it, it ain't gonna stop. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead. It's like breathing. <laughs> my, Amy, <laughs> this, that's my. This is my fiance. She has a question for you. She said, "How do you handle the fisherman who does throw to your spot?" Mm. <laughs> cut the line. Do you cut the line? You cut the line, don't you? I've got razor blades on my fingers. Mm. 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 <laughs> Tie razor blades on the no, sinkers and cast out there. 
I give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, if it's windy, I can understand the wind taking yourself. Yeah, right. You, yeah. you know, if it happens over. Do you give them a warning? Do you give them a warning? Hey, bud. Then that starts to see me get red, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over, and I'm gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice. I can see that. And then if it happens a couple more times, then yeah. I mainly, I will pack myself up and move. Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't want to go to prison. All right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's, yeah, ain't, ain't no jail. It's like, it's like prison. You know? <laughs> My anger management tells me I can't do this, so, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and do a number game since I didn't know I was getting this late till 10 o'clock, so. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a, a number, you, you, like, you write down a number, uh, um, one, th one through a thousand. Uh, and uh, let's get our number here real quick. And uh, one thousand, huh? One through a thousand. What? 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 And okay, I got it. Okay, you got it. Let's see yeah. it. All right, we got the number. Go. And it's gonna be a twenty dollar oh. gift certificate. Oh, there you go. Uh, and a uh, donated from Shine Time Cleaning LLC, and a bag of and tournament a bag winner. of tournament blend. So it's a win-win situation. <clears throat> you want to ask? Uh, huh? Want to ask Paul another question? Yeah, I do. Want and to I'll pay. I'll pay attention. You want to pay attention to that? Yeah, I'll pay attention I'll to the numbers and. You got any questions for us, Paul? You just can't be in a spotlight. I know you're the guest, but you can't be on the spotlight. Do you need Amy? Stop! It's not one of my favorite numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. Trying to keep that twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I have any questions really. Like, well, other than when we're going to Del Hollow in Texas. Probably, if we did. Oh, Texas. You're talking about Texas. I would love Dude, to. I want, oh, them buffs are huge, bro. You hey, know, hey, Brian Hauser. Brian Hauser. I want to go to Texas so bad. I never been to Texas. You been to Texas? Have you been to Texas? No. You can play, babe. I'm just playing. Have you been to Texas? No, I would love to go to Texas. I've never been to Texas. Uh, we'll get. Actually, I got the. Uh, okay, mentors. Okay, dream like no. Uh, what would you say? Where? Are you coming down here for the chili meat or the? Or yeah, the, I know he is. I will be there, representing Sinister Six and Fish Fighters. Yeah. I'm going to try to have at least four out of the six of my teammates there, if mm -hmm. not all of them. Mm -hmm. I would like to get a whole team photo. Photo. Right. We we try to do that every year, but there's always seems like one or two is out of the picture. You know, doesn't make it, so I have to Photoshop them a lot of times and put them into it. I, I do know for sure that me, Tyler, Jeremy, Chris Brady will be there. I imagine Troy will be there. Troy always comes. Yeah, and I, I, I imagine Christopher will come, so that's my fix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I'm for sure a lot. Most of the teammates here from Indy will probably be there. But, uh, yeah. but we're not going to have nothing if we don't find a place, that's for sure. Yeah, well, man, for people watching, if you guys know a place that's local, buy an interstate, hotel access to. Yeah. We're looking for a place to host it this year. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we, you know, if we get, we, out, we might be jumping the gun, you know. Yeah. Uh, Justin may get a hold of us, you know. But um, but we're just trying to make you know we're just trying to be ahead of it and make sure you know they get the right vendors there. Yeah, I mean stuff. we already got people hitting us up you know asking about tables and everything and we was we want to make sure that we had the spot to yeah you know to host so you know so hopefully everything works out the right way. No, I, I, it definitely will. And our goal is to set for February seventeenth. So yeah. And, uh, Come on, Justin, get all the James, brother. Yeah, please, please. But, uh, okay, um, let me get you a good question here before you got, uh, where is craziest? No, 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 no,
No. Oh, okay. So what kind of what kind of rods and reels do you have there? For a thing like I have um, <laughs> a Boo Garcia 65 <laughs> rocket. Okay. They're sun kissed orange. Okay, gotcha. And they are on Daiwa RG76 medium heavy. Excuse me. What kind what kind of test line do you use? In in the Pay Lake I use fifteen pound suffix okay. superior. Yeah. With raw stout sinkers. Yeah. And most of the time on the bank hooks. Now the rod the rod is R G Daiwa R G seven six heavy. Okay, now for what do you use it for wild water? Wild water, I got 12 foot Sonic Vader X's. Okay, I could dig it. Yeah, those with 6,500 carp runners on there. Okay. Um, um, with 15 pound big game, Berkeley big game. I like big game. I do. What kind of line is big game? Berkeley. Berkeley, gotcha. Isn't Berkeley a brand? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about oh, the, co Bert, uh, the color. The color. Sorry, uh, green. Green. Who's the... Uh, Charlie? Ricky. No, Ricky in the... I got a good question one. for him. Yeah, cool. Um, I got this... I'm going to ask you this question real quick, Paul, while they're sitting there doing uh, doing this or whatever. What advice can you give any new or upcoming oh, good person, good not question. just on fishing, but I really, that's not really my question. My question, my, really, my question is, is going out to people that's watching that is interested in being on Team Fish Fighters, like, what advice can you give them about um, them wanting to join our team, you know, The, the biggest thing is, of course, you know, carp care. Yeah. That That's number one always right out the gate. you got to take care of that carp because I don't want to catch an ugly carp. I love catching carp. We all want people. We all want pretty carp. Yeah. You know, or the picture ain't as nice. So carp care is number one. Yeah. Carp care you have to have. Um, but, you know, the like you guys say about me, the passion and love. Mm. There's not many anglers that have it. No. And, if, and if you do find them, they're ones that stand out a little bit, but yeah, kind of are shy about it at the same time. Yeah, we can see that. <laughs> so, like I said before, a closed mouth won't get fed. Yeah, nope. That's why I think it's one of the reasons I hate seeing Dwan leaves, because he's got that he passion. has the passion. He's got a wholesome passion. passion. Yeah. But, you know, I, think... I didn't know you guys from Adam when I went down to the Chili Fest. Oh, I All guess... I know is you guys was watching you on YouTube. Yeah, and you guys came from okay. representing t uh, Ty Boat Pickups. First, until you was, you look for Frank Bay on your team, I would love it. Oh, uh, here's another question. I, was, I opened hey, my I'll... mouth. That's one of the things I can say is for him to have car care and open your mouth. Okay. You want to be on this team? Ask a question. Yeah. That, uh, how many sponsors do you have? I know we talked um, about the Christmas list. 13, 14-ish. 13, 14. Can you name? Fish fighters, of course. Bog feeder baits. Yep, yep. One on baits. Horn W. Bubbles. Getting the lead out. Full pool beepers. Champion pole stands. Fabrication and welding. Um, Tybug's pickups. Danny Daniels pickups, which is D&J &D &D pickups. Was on the bank hooks, but I, like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to say I had him. Okay. Same here. Um, 724 graphics. He does all my, all of our shirts and everything. Right. He does my stickers on my decals. Yeah, he does some good work. He does some good quality stuff too. Mm hmm I got one of them. I'd say I, I'm gonna put, I got I'm gonna get me another caddy that way I got two so I can have How much we uh 
We should do hats. Give away hats. Give this our hats. You know what I actually been thinking about doing? You know how the Team Fish Fire colors is black? I actually thought about uh, if anybody wanted a Team Fish Fire t shirt or something like that, uh, make them that carp green. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do like that carp green. I have, that, that's something that I'm, I'm thinking about for the future of our team, too, yeah. is to, to start making some type of uh, funny meme carp fishing shirt. Right. With Pink Fish Fire logo on it. And there'll, there'll be a link, of course, once that happens, you'll be able to get that on the website on Team Fish Fire's on Ball Street or Bates, I imagine. Does your, that uh, work. So that's something that maybe can we look forward to. Right. Does your uh, son, uh, you say he's like a computer expert, right? Yeah. Okay. Does he do websites and all that? Um, I'm not 100% sure about the website creation. Yeah. But imagine it wouldn't take him long to figure that out. Right. Nobody hit yet? No, they've, they've been, uh, I've seen a bunch of people like come kind close. of close to it, but they haven't hit it yet. I've been watching. Mm. Yeah, giant shout out to all my sponsors. All you guys are amazing. Good work for you. I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at today. Right. Yeah, that's how I feel too, man. Like, you know, it, it, it's always been like a dream of mine to be, you know, an awesome fisherman. You know, somebody that, that they can learn from. Them. Shoes they can follow in, you know, role models for any, any youngsters out there who want to start carp fishing, any fishing, trout fishing, cat fishing. I know a little bit about all species. Right. So any questions, don't be scared, don't be shy, don't be scared to ask. You don't even have to be a kid or youngster. You could be 90 if you got a question to ask it. Yeah, close mouth don't get fed and that's a, that's a true statement. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. I'm gonna narrow it down for you guys. <laughs> it's gonna be anywhere from between 600 and 800. Oh, there you go. Wow, jeez. So that narrow it down. We're practically giving this away now. Yeah. We're practically giving this away. Okay. <laughs> wow, man. Jeez. All we ask you guys to do is hit Probably one. Number. On your forehead, though. But all we ask you to do is hit one number between one and a thousand. How hard is that? <laughs> nah, we appreciate yeah, you all playing. Yeah, you wrong four times, I remember. <laughs> Look, you even got Tia playing. Tia's like, I'm trying to put that money back in my baby's bank. <laughs> she would too. <laughs> See, I got Christmas coming up. <laughs> but, uh, um, what is... Uh, Okay, we are talking about the rods and reels and all that kind of stuff. Um, when you go to Pay Lakes or Wild Wild Lakes, how do you scout out? Do you feel like for like it'll be the best places for it? You guys got to share this too. You have to share this live in okay. order to win. Also, only on the last game, though. so share that also. So most of the time, your, your tournaments are starting at 7 or 8 a.m. Yeah. I, I up at the lake at 6, 6.30. I'm, I'm watching the bubbles, and I'm going to watch the holes. And, I, you know, that's where I start, and that's where I start. Oh, um, okay. So what do you... Uh, decide in what I'm, how I'm going to go about my session. Right. So, like... Whether it's a tournament or not. Now, when it is a tournament? When it's a tournament, I'm looking for certain holes that I know I can produce fish in. Okay. And how many, like, say, a certain, like, how many, uh, hey, how many pegs are it's in your mind that you want to, okay, I got, I want six. Five. Five. Okay, it's five. Five. And when they pull your name out of that five, you, 
you basically you probably got your numbers. Which one? Okay, this one is actually better than that one. You got it? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, if I pick on five, I feel pretty confident. Yeah. And after five, it, it normally you, you, you take what you get and make the best out of what you got. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Dig it. Dig it. A big thing I like to say is adapt and overcome. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys can stop, man. I was letting y'all, you know. Oh, we got a winner? Yeah, we had a winner about two minutes ago. Oh! I was just, I was just, I'm, I'm just, so sorry, guys. He does this stuff all the time. Yeah, I mean, hey, bro, hey, you gotta get them comments. You gotta, hey, you get them comments. Yep. Gotta get this but nah, comment. man, congratulations two. to Mr. 714. Mr. 714, Mr. Zach Myers. Again? Zach Myers. Again? Yeah, he won again. Jeez. Look, I, you know. Hammering on him. Well, but, that's good to be I was a bellet. That's what. I, look, because, you know, <laughs> you, guys, you guys would know because I'll go up there and I'll. Uh, so, show me what the. Okay. Oh, look, we don't have it. No, yeah. Show the number. Yeah, look. It, it, was seven, it was 714. I wrote Zach's name down as soon as I seen it. 714. Yep. Yeah. Well, uh, Congratulations, Zach. You know that you're on it, and uh, you get a uh, bag of tournament win and twenty dollars from Shine Time Cleaning LLC. Yep, yep. So, thank you again, Amy, for that. That's awesome. Yeah, we appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I'm doing. I tell you, Paul, we're coming towards the end of the show. You know, and uh, yeah, uh, as again, it's a pleasure Great. to have you on our show. Uh, and a teammate, great. Thank you for being on the team, Fish Fires, and uh, Thanks, hell of a teammate. Uh, taking charge up in the PA, and uh, we're gonna start getting some lot, some more videos going on. Uh, I'm on. I personally, you know, I'm starting to do a lot of uh, videos. If the teammates come or not, you know, on my part, the Harry Mindy, you know. Uh, yeah, so too. And, uh, They're going to get made, rather. I got teammates here or not. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to. I got. I bought. I tell you, yeah, I bought a truck camper. And I'm like in love with it. Why well, not? Like a, you know, like those campers that goes on top of your truck. Yeah, I watched your video. Is that the camper you had? Yeah. I'm in love with that thing, man. It's like I could take it and I could sleep it. Sleep in it. You can pull out and fish in it. Yeah. Too. Exactly. And so, you know, when you get too comfy, you got two rods outside that are screaming off. <laughs> hey, see that? <laughs> oh, my you God. Man, with your eyes wide shut. Oh, man. I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what happened. It's like, uh, that was my, the right one was going, my right rod was going off. And then I started looking, and I was like, man, my left rod is, um, the line is way, way to the left. So I was fighting that one on the right for a little bit, and then he popped that hook out of his mouth like son of a biscuit. So then I go ahead and I start fighting with that le uh, left one, and that when, during that video I cut it short, but we was actually uh, the one on the left. Me and my son Hunter, of course, and I was really very surprised he got up with me at three o'clock in the morning, and being yeah. cold, uh, you know he. Uh, that made me a proud moment with him, um, but we was actually we was actually over in that one area to the left for a good eight to ten minutes, and I cut it in, during the video. I cut and edited it, you know, made it shorter where it only looked like it was maybe like a couple of seconds, you know. But we was right. but it, that fish over there, wherever it did, must got wrapped around a line or something, you know, like a maybe a a log or a another rock or whatever but I couldn't get that out and the line snapped on me so so he didn't catch neither one of them no but I did catch a fish long story short did you see have you seen a video <laughs> have you seen a video because yeah. I talked about you yeah. oh well, you always do because I, I, I talked about yeah. you and hey, he was on baby duty he was on baby duty <laughs> I mean <laughs> yeah. it, hey, it, 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 it happens my time was like a, as as a because I was pretending I was actually talking to uh, uh, Ricky, 
Mm -hmm. And he said, okay, you're not coming. I'm like, okay. And, uh, and I was yeah, talking. Ricky, I was laying on the couch with my daughter laying here like this yeah. when Ricky sent me a message and was like, hey, da, da, da. I seen him in a picture, like, boom, I'm like, nah. I'm like, I'm on baby duty. And uh, my son was like, listening to me talking on his phone and all that stuff. And he said, not, what? Ba not baby duty, right. my daughter. All right, he goes, uh, he said, what, they're not coming? This is what my son said. I said, yeah, man, they're not coming. And he goes, they got baby issues. I said, yeah, <laughs> they got baby issues. You're right. <laughs> but for him, for my, my nine-year-old son to say that, that was funny crap. Yeah. So. Well, Paul, man, we, uh, we're yeah. coming to the end of the show. Um, we appreciate you being on the show. We appreciate you, you know, being one hell of a teammate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we all, you know, we all not keep... just you, but the other boys too. You guys yeah. know who you are. Yeah. Um, I want real quick, uh, Paul. Name the. Name yeah, the go ahead and name off all. You teammates. know, all, te uh, all six of them. All right, it's myself. All, all five, you know, plus yourself. Yeah, five. Chris, Eddie, <laughs> Jeremy, Matt, Tyler, Matt, Troy Taylor, mm -hmm. Christopher, and Deco. Yep. That is your sinister six. Sinister Sticks for PA team. Pennsylvania boys. Yep, team fish right. But, uh, but yeah, Paul, uh, again, appreciate you. We try to keep these video, uh, the podcasts for about two hours. And once we get over two hours, we just start char charging the guests. For, uh, That's fine, yeah, just oh, put it on the bill. Yeah, <laughs> I'm joking. But, uh, again, we really do appreciate you, man. Uh, again, like... Tommy said you're a hell of a teammate, and I appreciate you. So yeah, man. I mean, I mean that too. Like I knew, you know, you know, I and I had the I had the uh, honor to be able to call you and ask you to even be a part of the oh, team too. Oh, that's right, you did. I forgot and about that. I knew, like, when I called him, and like I could just hear the sincereness in him. You know what I'm saying? When you know, yeah. when he was more than honored to say yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So. Here I am. No, for sure. I know. I see. I see. I see it every day, bro. Yeah, I mean, right. I don't see it, but I'm. You know, I, I read it. I don't. I don't yeah. comment a lot in the groups and stuff that I'm in, but I do go in there and read most of the time. Yeah. I just. I'm busy with everyday life stuff. You know, yeah, it's, it's more important. Life. Is it? Oh, what? I is mean, it? yeah. Is it? Because is that, it more? If I don't handle that business, I can't go do no fishing or. Okay. You know I, what I mean? guess that does make sense. <laughs> so. And the two biggest shout outs that I have, most of all, is number one. You know, the Lord. Yeah, amen. You know, for creating the, the the lakes and the rivers and the streams that we do fish, and and you know, second of all, in my wife, yeah. she she's my backbone. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't be able to go spend ninety six hours in New York to do this and do that and go here and do this. And I think so, a lot yeah, of us that, fishermen, the two main, I think my two main sponsors right there. I think a lot of us fishermen, you know, that are in relationships or married and all that, I think we owe a lot to our wives yeah. and girlfriends for, we should have a, because if you're uh, a cart fisherman out there mm. and you got it bad like we do, mm. Mm. you mm. know, it can sometimes, yeah. you know, because mm. I can go at any given time, you know, I can't fish, as, I mean, I'll go to the big tournaments, but it's hard to go fish as much as I used to. Yeah, that's what Behind I was saying. Like, uh, three years ago, I was fishing every weekend. Mm -hmm. Last year, I fished every two, three weekends. This year, I might have fished once a month. Hmm. Yeah, behind every uh, good angler is a woman behind it. Yeah. That's it. Or, well, what I should say is like a behind a good a good carp. Behind male. Every, be, no, behind, behind, listen, behind yeah. every good carp angler, there is, it, is a pissed off wife. <laughs> no, no, you can't say that, man. You can't, <laughs> we're going to have all the feminist people on the last in a second. I mean, hey, I, I mean, you know, I'll be honest, and I'm sure, uh, Paul, cause, I mean, you know, I've seen uh, carp fishers ruin some relationships. Mm. Over, over, yeah. over the years, you know what yeah. I mean? Because it, it, it's, it's a lifestyle. You know, it, it's, it's addictive. It's oh, oh, man. Man. That's another good question. <clears throat> Thank you, Tom. I wish we'd follow this. Okay, do you pay lakes in your area? Do you feel like uh, pay lakes is a more of an income? 
for anglers to pay f pay f to pay for their bills. Not around here down south, I would say it's a way of, a way of life down there. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. there's so many lakes, you can actually go fish uh, seven days a week at a different lake, a different tournament. Okay. I can't say for sure, but just my experience going south. Yeah. And with the same anglers over and over and over when I go there. Right. They're regulars. Yeah. Their wives work and they fish for a living. From what I get out of it. Right. Gotcha. So. All right. Well, that's kind of, we're coming to the end of the show. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate you on, the, on being on the Thank show. You. It's been fun. Yeah, yep, we appreciate your brother, and uh, we'll talk at you soon for sure. Thank you, man. Be safe. Well done. Thank you, man. 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 Man, he's a good, uh, you know, he, like I said, he ain't did nothing but show up and show out since he's been on the team. Yeah. Good. That's what the kind of teammates were. And he's, you know, like he's already recording videos in PA and sending yeah. Bluetooth or, what, you know, the... He sends me a flash drive. Yeah, sends a flash drive to James and then James puts, a, puts, puts it all together, together and so. everything. So, you know, shout out to you uh, PA boys uh, mm -hmm. for doing that, you know, sharing knowledge from, you know, another another state, you know what I mean? Different people fish different ways. Um, but uh, yeah, for if you guys haven't got a chance, and if you're not a subscriber to our Team Fish Fire YouTube channel, please go there and if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button and the like button and the bell button to be notified automatically of our great carp adventures. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you like that? I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm on it right there. That's what. Uh, my son Hunter, he's uh, watches this YouTube guy mm -hmm. with occasion, and uh, he's some kind of chef. Or, I mean, he's not a real chef. He's a Cajun guy that cooks all these shrimps and all that kind Cajun of stuff. Cajun food. Yeah, okay. and he's even got seasoning. Mm -hmm. And uh, he goes, and my son Hunter he goes, "That's money right there. <laughs> Put a cracker <laughs> on that." That's what he keeps oh, talking about. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I do. Well, he's a state trooper. Is he really? Yeah, he's a state trooper. No way. Yes. He, I think that's... He is may, that a fake wig? Huh? That, yeah. Uh, I, he may be a retired state trooper now. Okay. Because I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, like he don't have to put his life in risk no more, you know what I mean? No, that's just a, uh, But yeah, put a quack, I'll put a quack on it. Yeah, we actually bought his seasoning. That's money, dude. Yeah, and my son, when he, he likes, my son likes to make, you know, he'll break out. He'll actually get... My, one of my cast irons to put it on the stove, and he likes to get makes fried bologna. <laughs> and he'll say, and he'll throw some of that season. Yeah, <laughs> a I, you know what He's a I, redneck. He <laughs> he throws some, some I don't that. think I've ever had it. What fried bologna? I've had fried bologna before. Yeah. I grew up in the ghetto. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was. Sometimes he, that's all we had was. He'll fried put some bologna. of that seasoning on that, and he goes. And he'll say, that's money right there. Yeah. <laughs> he'll be saying, he'll be doing, acting like he's part of that Cajun guy or SpongeBob SquarePants with uh, the spatula. You know, <laughs> so, that's irritating. But anyway. But. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching. Yeah, thanks. Our next guest is. Oh, Charlie Napier, the, a.k.a. the Carpenter. He's uh, one of the old school Hugh Carpers. Been uh, fishing a long time too. Fished a long time. Actually, uh, he uh, he kind of closed up shop for like the past three or four years, but he's coming back out of retirement. So he's going to start uh, fishing more with his grandkid, and then uh, uh, but he's got some stories and some experience that how he wants to teach other people how to fish and they can learn off of him. So. Uh, Charlie Napier, wow, he's a, he's one of my uh, mentors. I've always looked up to him, like, wow, the Carpenter's here. The Carpenter's here. Oh my God, the Carpenter. <laughs> you know, like. But now you're like, I catch a big fish too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you catch fish. <laughs> Throw a fire. Yeah. No. No, but uh, looking forward to having him yeah. on there uh, next Wednesday. So, uh, all right.
That's it. Oh, uh, where do we go? We Always that? support your local bait shops. shops. Um, uh, Indy Bait and Tackle. Yeah. Naptown Bait and Tackle. Adams Outdoors. The Bobber Shop. The Bobber Shop. Naptown. Um, Bobber. Yeah, I said, yeah. yeah. You know, obviously, you know, your pay lakes when they're open, all, most of them are shut yeah. down now. Um, and mainly a shout out, man, to everybody that supports Team Fish, Fish Fighters. Fighters. Thank you. I don't care how you do it, if it's coming on here playing these little stupid little games that we play or whatever. You know. Are you serious? They're not. Freaking stupid. They're not. They're not stupid. It's just a, it's just just a figure of speech. You know what I'm saying? I put my heart and soul. It's I to got, keep people interested. I mean, it's not like the Johnny Carson show. I mean, <laughs> or but you guys know what I mean, man. Thank so. you guys to that comes on here and watches and. Uh, Helps me get to laugh at James every Wednesday, like he laughs at me too. You know what I mean? It's it's a love hate relationship. Stupid. <laughs> That's so good. No, but seriously though, yeah. I appreciate everybody that you know that yeah, does tune you. in and help and and watch and play the games and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And if you anybody could help us to find a good spot for our carp expo chili meat for 2024. We need it like to have it on February 17th. So. February 17th is when we'd like to have it. Yeah, and yeah, we like to find a good free spot. We always we always try to help out with donations. It don't have to be free because you know what I mean like yeah. we something that like a price we could work with. We I mean we do donate. It was given to us free for the last few years, but we always did make a little. Yeah. Uh, contribute contribute back to the, the you person know, to help us the person it. that helped us get it you know what I'm saying for the for them um, you know we appreciate it being there we really want to keep it there because we were supposed to get the bigger building this year so like you know, I said we could probably jump the gun here yeah but so I mean, we're, we're not jumping the gun we just got people you yeah. know wanting to know hey what's the new lookout good yeah. or, you know what's the new uh, layout gonna be people want know? their tables yeah, some people trying to book their tables somewhere, you know. We can't get to say, hey, we got tables for you to book if we don't, you know, have to make sure we got a good enough or a big enough space to even have it. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I appreciate everybody supporting our local bank shops. Um, are we going to do the pop up shop at a bank shop? Oh, podcast at a bank shop? Yeah. yeah. We've, been at, we've been asked. Um, by, you know, I'll go ahead and say it, by Indy Bait and Tackle. They want us to come and do a podcast, a podcast inside their bait shop. Yeah. Um, we think that would be pretty cool. Um, if we do uh, say yes to the Indy Bait and Tackle. I think you could break away, man. Huh? You got the baby, I don't think you could break away. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm going to have to. Yeah. Oh, you have to? Well, I mean, but, all, all the fans need us. Nah, I'm just playing. Um, but nah, man, so if we do do that at the Indie Bait and Tackle, who would you guys like for us to have on the show during that podcast? Oh, yeah, that's another one. Uh, good question. You know what I mean? Who would you like to see on the show? Who would you like to see on the show if we do it at Indie Bait and Tackle on the other side? And then, you know, our kind of plan since somebody came to us, you know, we want to continue that. We want to do one at... Uh, in Naptown Bait and Tackle, we want to do one at Adams Outdoors, we want to do one at the Bobber Shop. You know, I think that would be a cool little thing to do throughout the winter time just to pass some time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alright, man. Yep. We're dragging it out. Always practice good car care. Follow yeah. us on YouTube. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Yep. Thanks Congratulations, so Zach Myers, yep. on both your wins tonight. Get with me, I'll get you, and I got something for Shane, for Shane Boy, too. Out like a bank. Yep. Free apes. Free, Free bank. Yep. So, see you later. Thanks for watching.